case you find the island of Okinawa too relaxing after your time in Tokyo, the beautiful sunset happening out there, just had a day at the beach, and suddenly if you just feel yourself missing Tokyo, or say Akihabara, then you can just jump right into Mango Soko. Mango Soko? Mango Soko. Which transports the insanity of Akihabara or many parts of Tokyo into Okinawa in one single store. Uh, it's just a warehouse of crane games, tons of crane games. Um, we're just only showing you a portion because I want to walk about the whole store right now. <laughs> we saw. Despite the insanity of this place, saw multiple kids falling asleep yeah. in their Crazy. strollers. Here's one. <laughs> They're asleep. He's asleep. Um, a Pikachu who is tantalizingly close to falling off of the... Uh, next to one of the most exciting crane games of all, the automatic hand soap dispenser crane game. Stop the excitement. <laughs> yeah, don't, like, don't everybody line up at once. But you've seen Crane Games before. It's got all the good stuff. All the good stuff, like coffee machines. Vibration sticks so that when you lose your keys, it'll vibrate and let you know where they are. But they don't, they don't just do, you know, that wacky kind of crap. They also, like, sell clothes. And apparently they buy used items and resell them. And they um, wash them before. They wash everything and they resell it. So it's used clothes as well as used... Housewares, appliances, you got electronics, I saw iPhones, I saw computers, Becky likes the Soros family bag. Um, it's like a large place, maybe the, like a third the size of a normal Walmart, but it's yeah. packed to the brim. Yeah. You got musical instruments here, you got shoes, I'm assuming those aren't used. <laughs> There's bicycles, there is... Um, lots, of sporting stuff. lots of sporting stuff. It's a real assault on the senses. We found out that all of these are done by the employees. They like oh, hand make them. There's anime characters that they make, and like. There's tons of them, and they're beautiful. They're really well done. Yeah. It's a really cute touch that they put together. We're in the DVD section area. We got collectible card games here. I'm not sure what these ones are. Here's Magic the Gathering. And then they've got drawers on one side. They have like just drawers full of cards. It's like they specialize in many things. It's like the go to for otaku. And you wouldn't have an otaku one stop shop if you didn't include manga. And of course, there is an 18 plus section. Becky like saw something that may haunt her for the rest of her life in there. <laughs> I'll toss in a clip. Uh, a little bit of bukkake. <laughs> Not just bukkake, bukkake on toast. <laughs> um, and then you keep on moving over here. You got all the legitimate mangas. Not that hentai is not manga, but yeah. it's legitimate. Yes, totally. <laughs> Don't kink shame, Becky. Tons of manga. Tons. So they do all of these characters, like all these signs are all done by the employees. I'm glad that that's they told incredible. us that because that's knowing that it now so that these flavor. they're crafty guys and girls. Those kids are checking out their Pokemans. Lots of figures and stuff that you can buy. If those are used, I want to make sure they're f tribute free. Thank you. Well, she did say they wash the clothes, so maybe they hose down the figures as they bring yeah, them maybe. in for trade-in. There's, um, even... Why not... Weaponry. <laughs> Airsoft guns and samurai swords. Along, right next to all the toys. <laughs> uh, aw, oh, cool! Love those guys. Um... You see a lot of One Piece in Japan, like lots. You don't see much Dragon Ball Z, you don't see much Naruto. Tons of One Piece. Yeah. Uh, and then a video game section. Let's get to the good stuff. I like video games a lot. Becky likes video games. 
Seems you're coming around the bed from your uh, bend from your ramen oh, crash. Oh, I had a ramen crash. It was rough. You'll probably have to speak up a bit more in this place to be heard. But yeah, she she crashed after having delicious ramen. Samim san, little guys, all staring at me. <laughs> These little Japanese kids, like, what the hell are you doing in the video game section? <laughs> video games are for kids. <laughs> There you go. There's uh, and I guess this is a mixture of new and used as well in here. Yeah, it looks like it. Hey, Amiibo! Fun. Where's the monkey? Get the monkey. There's a monkey. <laughs> Get the little monkey. <laughs> uh, they got systems. It's a pretty impressive place. I mean, like, I've been to places in Akihabara and stuff that were nerdy and would definitely make you drool, including Super Potato. But there's something about this place that I, I think it's... I don't know, it's just that it's all condensed and all in one spot, kind of. That you can get your porn in the same shop as you get your your video games. Yeah. I think helps. Cause, and like massive copies of lube. Like, oh, lube. you can get like industrial sized lube. I didn't record much back in there because, you know, there's dudes back there looking yeah. for stuff and they don't yeah. deserve to be on camera. <laughs> Their privacy. And oh, there's Beck and Josh checking out sunglasses. They just got out of the porn section. God, they spent hours <laughs> They there. spent more time in there than I thought anybody Ooh. ever would. All right, well, that's Mangasoko, everybody. I Hope you enjoyed the tour.